Get a report. Get a report. Get a report. Get a report. Podcast. Debo Gang, it's your boy King Bricks. We out here rocking with Gotta Report Podcast. All right, what's up, Bricks, man? How you doing? Cooling, man. Feeling good right now. Okay, welcome to the podcast, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, we appreciate you coming. We um, I was supposed to do this with you a minute ago. I told Hunnett, like, yo, we got to get that interview, you know what I'm saying? But I was traveling, and then, and I didn't want to interview a lot of people from the city like without like getting more followers and getting more... So I could shed more light You know what I'm saying I didn't want to just do it nah, that makes Prematurely sense. You know what I'm saying Yeah a lot of niggas be Don't be having nothing to talk about yeah. Not even just the rappers Sometimes the podcast is too Yeah Appreciate that though um, Nah we appreciate you man Um, Tell us about yourself man Oh um, shit It's like It's a really answer shit Like what you want to know Who, Who's King Bricks Why King Bricks King Bricks Well you know I'm from Money Hill Mission Hill Um and um, if you if you know about that area in Boston, you know money making mission, huh? Yeah, man. You okay. know Annunciation Road to be exact, man. You know I'm from the projects. That's why they call me Bricks for real. A lot of my phone, a lot of my homies, like growing up, I used to be on the other side of my hood, which is townhouses now, but it used to be Bricks growing the, up. The Spanish side, they, they, a lot of people call it. Yeah, they call it the Spanish side, but my whole hood is the Spanish side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both sides are Spanish. Yeah. But fucking, yeah, Tuke um, said he called it the dirty side. Yeah, a lot of niggas call it the dirty side. That's yeah. the old side, yeah. dirty side, Montega side. Yeah, yeah, that type of shit. Yeah, it was dirty. It was it was rough. I seen. I, I used to see the old bricks. That shit was rough. Had to knock it down. Yeah, they had it. That shit was rough. They tried to dismantle the family. You know. Yeah, had the um the big ass dumpster in there and all that. That shit was crazy back in the day. Um, so you from Annunciation Road side? Yup. Okay. Um, you was born in there. Yeah, my my parents they both from the dirty side. Okay, you know what I'm saying they're from the dirty side, but you from the other side. Yeah, my my grandmother, her crib right now still to this day is on the new side. Okay, the new side. Um, how was it uh, um growing up in Mission? Um, shit. I want to say like typically like every other project, but I only grew up in mine. So, you know, I don't. I I, I love all of my experiences like growing up from fucking watching I. I from in my hood, it was athletic basketball playing ass niggas, fly, get money ass niggas. You know what I mean? That's all I grew up seeing. You know, dice games, big ass cookouts, motherfucking um, you know, my mother's rule was just not to leave the project. So I go to the new side, old side, I'm running around that bitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Me and my, my nigga big body, you know what I'm saying? We used to just be running around that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Our mothers hung together. Oh so, yeah. So we just running around terrorizing shit, you know what I mean? We surrounded by fucking mad colleges, so like we used to like break into like Northeastern and shit, yeah. and like be in the classroom when like back in like MySpace days, MySpace. fucking playing like mad fucking you know like party music and shit, mm -hmm. whole bunch of little girls and little niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm talking like we like nine, ten, yeah. breaking in there, fifteen deep, getting chased out by the security and shit, fucking um. So we used to just be turning shit up, taking bikes and shit, growing up. So all I'm saying is it was active in the yeah. projects. It was always something to do, you yeah. know what I mean? But um, Yeah, shout out Big Body, man. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, got an interview. For sure, next, man. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, So your projects, a lot of things went on in your projects, especially um, there's a big story that they just did a documentary out, um, the Charles Stewart. Did you hear about that when you was younger? Yeah, I mean, I was born in 1998, so that shit happened around the time I was born. You feel me? 89. Nah, 98. What, Charles Stewart? That Charles Stewart shit? It happened in, in the early 90s. I'm born in 98. Yeah. So anything that I could speak on about that yeah. is from what I heard from my mother, yeah. seen on the internet, or yeah. just know from being from where I'm from, yeah. you know? Yeah, that was a crazy story, man. Um Mission's known to, was known to get some money, man. But um, shout out to Mission. Shout out to Tutu. We just interviewed oh, yeah. him as well. You know, um, let me ask you this. Did you watch the documentary? I uh, watched bits and pieces. And because I'm close to the family, yeah, I know a little bit of the backstory. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I never got to watch the full HBO series. Yeah. Nah, not yet. I watched the first couple episodes. Okay. Yeah, um, growing up, you got any siblings? Yeah, I'm the oldest out of my siblings. Yeah. I got five, yeah, five other siblings than me. 
And they all lived in the projects too? Nah. My fucking my sister, she lived in projects with me. I mean, like I said, I'm the oldest, so I ended up moving back from with my mother to my grandparents. I was dolo when I yeah. went back to my grandparents. But, you know, me and my little sister, we grew up in the projects. Um, my other little sister, she lived there, but my two other brothers and my other sister, they ain't grew up in the projects. Nah. nah. Okay. So how was it um, growing up with siblings, man? Y'all was fighting all the time? Nah, I ain't never got into a fight with none of my siblings. Nah. No, boys, my like, little brother in here right now. Okay. I ain't never fought that nigga. Okay. Shit. What's the age gap, though? I'm 25. He's, shit, pushing 20. Okay. Yeah, that's good shit, man. So you was a good big brother. Shit, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can ask him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I be, we be on our sister's asses, though. Okay. We, we the oldest. But you got to be. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't let nobody oh, take yeah. advantage of your sisters. Um, When you start getting in trouble, man, because I heard you say you was a DYS kid. Shit. I mean, we always been getting in trouble, man. Fucking. I first went to DYS when I was like 13. Mm-hmm. 13 for what? Um, I had punched somebody in the face. And um, thought it was a nigga, but it was a female. <laughs> Fucking um, what, what you mean? You thought it was a nigga? She had a hoodie on or something? Man? Nah, it was. So there was around that time. So I'm I'm younger, but I always hung with niggas that was like six, seven years older than me. So whoever they was beefing with was my beef for sure. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And like, um, there was a specific dyke bitch that I knew. Like, I, if I seen this bitch. I'm going to treat her like a nigga, you know? Yeah. And um, fucking, I remember we was walking to the store. Me and my man was walking to the store, and we bumped into a, somebody that I, I look familiar, but I'm like, I don't know who the fuck this is. You know what yeah. I mean? And um, when we left there, I bumped into another two niggas, and they like, yo, that was, and keep in mind, I'm 13, bro. Yeah. So they like, yo, no, nah, that's so-and-so's cousin. Something like that. You know what I mean? So, basically, they're like, oh, you're going to slap that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking it's a nigga. You know what I mean? But it was a bitch. No bullshit. So, I, I basically chased the nigga. Where I walked back up to approach him after they seen me in the pizza shop. I mean, I basically approached them. It was, it was, it was a nigga and a female. Now, I know it was two females, but it was a nigga and a female. Yeah. I mean, the nigga started taking off running. I started chasing after him. And then by the time I got close and punched the nigga, you know what I mean? There was a cop pulling somebody over in front of like the check cashing place. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget this part. There was a cop pulling somebody over to check cashing place. The nigga stopped thinking I was going to stop chasing him. And I just punched him, knocked out right there. But then the cop started chasing me and I uh, went to jail right there. That was the first case. No bullshit. So what happened? Did she tell on you too? Did she come, come to court? Or you just copped out? How that should work out. I definitely copped out to that. I definitely caught another case right after that. But I had a, I remember how to stay away from the bitch. I can't never say the bitch told. I'm pretty probably sure she probably... She definitely didn't know who I was at yeah. that time. At yeah. 13, she, I didn't know who the bitch was. I knew her name after. That's how yeah. I found out it was a female. Yeah. But, um, nah, yeah, I definitely copped out to assault and battery. No bullshit. Yeah. So when you find out it was a female, like when they after it's, they locked you up? Yeah, as soon as I got locked up. <laughs> Like, as soon as I got locked up, there was a cop that be harassing niggas around my way. I don't even want to say his name, shut him no light. But that nigga came straight to the station and said, oh, you knocking girls out now? And we were like, what? That was a whole nigga. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. trying to talk shit to him. He's like, nah, that was a female. You know what I mean? You going to jail for punching a female in the face. I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning that I pray. Gotta make it out some way. Put a smile back on my mama face Yeah I'm caught up in this fast life Every morning that I pray 